So in this video, we are going to see the solid gel technologies for nano materials fabrication. But uh, it is me. Uh, but uh, in the fifth unit, the solid gel technique is given. But uh, here we are going to develop the nano material with the help of the, the base uh, with the help of the, the, the main application of this uh, uh, technology is for developing the nano material fabrication. Nano material for fabrication process. Here we can see this. This is the salt okay the form of liquid flow and this is the gel okay after making the gel uh, gel means you know that the we are eating the gel okay like that the same thing only we are going to um, fabricate this okay here yeah. the salt gel process is a very long known since it's 18th 18 century itself the versatility of the technique has been rediscovered in the area of 1970 when the glasses were produced without a high temperature melting process okay that is a very important okay the salt gel is a chemical solution process used to make a ceramics or glass materials in the form of uh, very thin films like the thin films sometimes we can develop a fibers or in the form of powders also we are developing a yeah, salt is here colloidal the dispersed phase is yeah, so small that gravitational force do not exit okay the dispersed yeah, the dispersed phase is very small that gravitational forces forces do not exist only van der Waals forces are using to uh, at the under surfaces charges are present or uh, molecular suspension of solid particles of ion in a covalent a yeah, salt is a small uh, semi-rigid mass that forms when the solvent from the salt begins to evaporate and the particles or ions left behind let, left behind behind begin to join together here in a continuous network okay here the salt gel processes the salt gel process is a wet chemical technique that uses either chemical solution or shawl short for solution or polyhydrate particle solve for nanoparticles to produce an integrated network okay metal alkaloid and metal chloride uh, are typical precursors typical precursors here you can they are given then next slide we are going to see the, the that uh, formula uh, they undergo hydrolysis and polycondensation reaction to form the colloidal a yeah, system composed of a nanoparticle dispersed in a solvent the salt evolves then towards the formation of an inorganic continuous network containing a liquid phase formation of a metal oxide involves connecting the metal centers with oxo that is metal oxide metal or sometimes hydroxide that oh combination with oxygen h combination with oxygen metal oh m bridges therefore generating metal OXO or metal hydroxy polymers in solution. After drying process, the liquid phase is, is removed from the gel, then a yeah, thermal treatment calcination process. The thermal treatment calcination process may be performed in order to favor the for further polycondensation and enhance the metal mechanical properties. Here yeah, they making for gel formation first hydrolysis process, silicon or uh, that OR react uh, plus uh, HOH gives silicon oxide OH formation plus ROH formation the condensation process easily uh, mix react reactives okay after that the hydrolysis and condensation process will be taken place then the salt formation then gelification formation will be taken place finally the gel formation will be developed the first one is uh, uh, general mechanism in the metal organic is based on the growth of metal oxo polymer polymers in the solvent inorgan step polymerization reaction through the hydrolysis and the condensation of metal alkaloids or uh, metal or then where m okay m is the metal salt silicon tr zirconium aluminium senate then c uh, or is the alkali group of the uh, alkali group and z is the valence valence of or the oxidation in the set of the metal first step all, all the uh, hydroxy, hyd hydroxylation upon the hydrolysis of alkali groups okay here they will give then second step is polycondensation process leading to the formation of the branched uh, oligomers and polymers with a metal oxo based skeleton and reactive residual hydroxy hydroxo 
and alkoxy uh, and alkos, uh, al oxy groups to competitive mechanisms then here uh, oxyl uh, oxylation formation of the ox hydrogen bridges okay the, here they will given how oxygen bridges given exist nothing but the hydrogen generally when the hydrolysis ratio is h to o metal okay then they will develop the then oration formation of the hydroxy bridges when the uh, coordination of the metallic center is not fully satisfied okay the kinetic oration is usually faster than the oxidation okay yeah sol where is the polymerized structure is do not reach the macroscopic size so that is a very important point the gel when the recombination of the metal oxo polymers can be produced bushy structure which invade the whole volume inside which the solvent reaction by products and free polymers are trapped a yeah, precipitate is where the reaction produced dense rather than bushy structure depending upon the control of the structure of this oxo polymers the either the following things are uh, uh, the the hydrolysis ratio h the use of the catalyst complexing ligands or nucleophiles the strict adherence of the alkoxic uh, groups the nature of the solvent and the finally the temperature so up to this we saw that uh, the sol gel technique okay um,